So I know I'm a little late on the news, but it's just like, you know, jeez, like, I, I can't really believe it. Honestly, like, E3 gone? Like, no more, no more gaming events? Well, that's not true, but like, no more from E3? That's wild. I would have covered this sooner, but, uh, life. That, that type of thing. But what's good, everybody? I'm Spear Kai, and we'll get back to another video. So, that's, let's just be real here. I think we all know why, uh, E3 was canceled. Not can well, not just canceled, like completely just dismantled, and that's due to the bug that's been going around. Shit, is it even still around? I haven't heard like nothing from anybody about it. But I think there are other factors as to why it was canceled. Um, I don't really want to be that guy that just blames, you know, multi-billion-dollar companies for you know the dumb shit that they do, because apparently you know that's bad. But um, Sony, you know, them pulling out. I think that was really the catalyst that really caused this because you know you have all these other gaming companies pulling out I think freaking what well Xbox I know they didn't pull out because you know where they gonna go but uh I think Nintendo had pulled out which is you know kind of wild to me because they they're, they're, they're were big in E3 and I'm sure there are others but it just man this sucks man I, I don't know why Sony or anybody would want to pull out of E3 like that's like the that, Still, to me, I think that's the best way to market your games because E3 is not just about, you know, showing off gameplay and reveal trailers, right? They put on a show. Like, it's the, for me personally, I think it's the best way to market your game. And I know people have their own opinions as to who they think had the best presentation, but we all know it was Sony followed by Nintendo. And with them knowing that, I think that's the reason why, obviously, they pulled out. But these, these live streams, you know, they're, um, they're state of play. They're just not hidden, bro. Like, show of hands, how many of you guys actually walk away with these state of plays satisfied or at bare minimum liking a single game? Because, I don't know, I, I, we get these state of plays, we get excited every time because, you know, we regularly see some, you know, some good-ish. Come to find out, it's like some indie, indie-ish. And I'm just like, oh, God. Right, and like the thing about E3, what I liked about it is like they had like their certain time slot for indie games, and then they had another slot for just like like AAA console PC stuff. Well, actually, no, they separated PC from consoles, which is what I liked. Now we don't even have that anymore, man. It's just just trash. But the worst thing is that they were supposed to come back this year, man. Like they had a date, everything, June 13th through 16th. Only for them to cancel, not just the in-person, but the freaking digital, like, side of things, again. For them to just say, yeah, we're, 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 we're not coming back. This is it for us. I, I would like to think that maybe one day we'll get another E3-like event that we can continue. But I, I think this is it. I, it. It really is an end of, of an era. Really. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not liking this new one, man. I'm... I'm not, it's, it's not, bro, it's trash, but let me know what you guys think, if you, you know, you're gonna miss E3, or not, I for sure am, I'm hoping this gets rectified and we get something, you know, cooler, or similar, uh, that big Sam Spear Kai, if you like what you saw, you want to see more, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and until next time, I'm out, deuces.